Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Peak Minute. I'm Jordan with Everest Laboratories. Today, we're talking about dilute specimens on your drug screens. On your initial drug screen, you can come back with essentially two results, but really what's the four results, uh, the, the basic negative and positive. And then when you start to factor in the dilute specimens, uh, you can get uh, dilute positive, which ultimately is a positive result, and a dilute negative, which is basically saying the screen is negative, but because of other tests that go along with the initial drug screen, the sample was diluted in one way or another, whether um, you know it was drinking excess water or physically putting water into the cup um, with your urine. So we'll kind of talk about, there's really like three options for a dilute negative. One, um, basically the person drank too much water unintentionally and did not try to uh, alter their drug test results. This is pretty much what you're hoping for if you're an employer. You don't want someone to intentionally go out of their way to beat the drug test. Two would be someone that drank excess water to try and dilute up their specimen so the test didn't pick up drugs uh, intentionally. And, and this is one where if you are an employer and you take the dilute negative as a negative and move on, you have a higher chance that that employee is going to basically test positive in a random or a post-accident uh, down the line. And third would be to actually take water and physically pour it in your cup with the urine. Um, and again, the lab has tests that can test for these and know it. So um, really getting away with a dilute specimen is not, is not something that's easy to do. And the, the dilute negative result is really up to the employer and how they want to handle it. So hope you guys like this information. Have a great day.